I'm Dean Roberts, Director of the North American Near Infrared and Process Analytical Technologies Group, and this is the Bravo. It's Brooker's newest handheld Raman spectrometer, and it's designed for pharmaceutical applications where verification of raw material ID is important, or for identification of samples in uh, foreign object identification or for possible hazardous chemicals for first responders. The Bravo is unique in that it has an extended spectral range that encompasses everything from the far infrared up to the CH stretching region through the use of two lasers. Also unique to the Bravo is the ability to mitigate fluorescence of samples due to the shifted excitation difference method of optically eliminating the fluorescence contribution to the sample. There are no mathematical algorithms used. It's done by shifting the temperature of the excitation laser, which shifts the Brahman peaks and not the fluorescence envelope, and then by subtracting the shifted from the unshifted case, the fluorescence falls out, reintegrating the peak, then produces the Raman spectrum. Um, to use the, the Bravo, you simply choose the sample verification method, and you can either scan the barcode or put in the name of the sample. Just by putting in one letter, you can see a pop-up of the various samples that are in there for identification. So I'm just going to select polystyrene. You can also then enter the lot number, or the container number for multiple containers. You then enable the laser, start the measurement, press to start, and it will count down the measurement, including the shifted excitation difference. And here you see that it's been accepted as polystyrene. By pressing this icon, you can see the spectra of the material itself and of the best matches to that. One of the features of the Bravo is that the spectral quality is nearly as good as the spectral quality from benchtop Raman systems costing three times the price. This allows you to verify the identity of a much broader range of organic and inorganic compounds than you could with other handheld Raman spectrometers.